Up to what age are men able to father a child? Women have a limited number of eggs and they are more or less gone when they turn 50. After menopause, women can't get pregnant. With men, it is a slightly different story. Men age, but their testicles continue to produce sperm cells more or less throughout life. For a number of years, a trend has become obvious. The age of men who want to start a family is increasing. 60 years and older is no longer an exception, neither in my practice. And stories of best age celebrities who become fathers make the headlines in many countries around the globe. So the question arises, how fertile are men 60 plus compared to young men? Answer, there is some intra-individual variability, but overall fertility decreases and there are also risks involved. But I mean, it is kind of evident, isn't it? The aging process not only shows on our face, but also on our organs. It starts with a decline in testosterone relatively early in life. Roughly around the age of 40, testosterone levels decline with approximately 1% per year. Endogenous testosterone is very important for spermatogenesis. In addition to that, SHBG levels increase. That's the sexual hormone binding globulin, which binds to testosterone, resulting in less free testosterone, which is the biologically active fraction. Research has found that the aging male is confronted with a decrease in sperm concentration by approximately 3% per year, a 0.3% decrease in the number of motile sperm cells and a 0.7% decrease in normal sperm cell morphology. Sperm cells are produced in the seminiferous tubules of the testes. Spermatids, which is the name for the immature sperm cell, are found in 90% in men in their 20s and 30s. This number drops down to 50% in men in their 40s and 50s, and in over 80-year-olds, there are only 10% of seminiferous tubules which contain spermatids. The numbers initially reported seem to be small, but over the years, they add up. Sperm motility is an important parameter, because the more sperm cells can move around, the better. Over a period of 20 years, the decline in motility may add up to 12%, and the number of less well-shaped sperm cells will also increase by up to 18% over that period. And besides, we are not really talking DNA damage, which is invisible. DNA damage increases with age and the body's repair mechanisms are less effective with age. This means that the risk for miscarriage and malformation as well as genetic diseases not only increases with the age of the mother but also with the age of the father. Let's take an example. The risk for schizophrenia is 1 in 100 in the normal population. When the father is over 50, the risk for the newborn increases to 1 in 22 or Kleinfelter syndrome. The risk goes from 1 in 500 men to 1 in 312 men if the father is over 50. It is important to know about these risks because modern medicine has answers to older males even with very poor semen quality. As long as there are sperm cells, there is a way. If necessary, it is possible to take a sperm cell and inject it directly into one of the eggs of the mother, which have been harvested before. So nature has no chance to say no. The risks involved are only partly understood. However, also older men can still become fathers. But with family ties changing rapidly in modern times, there is a substantial chance for any man to be in need of fresh sperm at an age once named the winter of life. So this in mind, it might be a good idea to go for cryopreservation of sperm at a young age. Freeze down some samples, one never knows. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. <music>